Hello everybody. So in this tutorial, we're going to build a network and then uh, see if there exists any clusters in this network, cluster of nodes. And if yes, then figure out how these different clusters are connected with each other, right? So with that, let's dive into the code. For this exercise, we're going to use uh, the IMDB database of actors and movies. So each node is going to be uh, an actor. And if two nodes are connected to each other, that means that these actors have acted together in a movie or in a couple of movies, right? So what we're going to try is build a network of these uh, uh, relationship between different actors and see if we can get meaningful clusters of actors and see how these different clusters are connected to each other and so on, right? Uh, so uh, in, for this exercise, we are we, we, we primarily using the uh, scikit-learn network library. Uh, so it's got uh, functions for clustering, functions to build network and stuff. So we're basically uh, installing the second uh, network and then importing the clustering and utilities uh, from the uh, SK network library, right? about the uh, CSR matrix. I'm talking about that in one of the other videos where we uh, uh, prepare data to upload to Kumu and visualize a network. So it has nothing but a compressed sparse row format to uh, store pretty large matrices when you have a lot of uh, non-zero, uh, when the number of non-zero elements is very limited compared to the size of the uh, matrix, right? It's, it's, it's a much more efficient way of uh, storing uh, large metrics with a very few non-zero entries, right? Uh, so we impo import all the necessary libraries. Download the data. Look, let's look at what the data looks like. Uh, so we've got title, we've got the cast of each film. Mm -hmm. We've got the... Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, the, if, you, if you notice, there is a unique identifier for the title of the movie. So, uh, unique identifier for the title and an unique identifier for the name of the actor, right? And uh, we are doing a little bit of subsetting here, basically saying we are really interested in movies and uh, uh, not TV series and stuff. Uh, let's look at how many regions of, I mean, uh, we have in this data. Basically, uh, France, Japan, I think, Denmark, I don't know. Uh, Spanish, uh, Indian, uh, so on. <clears throat> we so uh, we in, in in this data we had only the uh, unique identifier for the name of the actor. So let's also load the uh, actual name of actors here. And so once you load, so uh, we've loaded all the data sets that is required. So let's move on to a function that we've written. So the essence of this function is, uh, I, I, again, I'm speaking about this function in one of my other videos, but uh, since it's it's a nice trick that can be applied. So, I mean, um, this is a good example of uh, application of uh, matrices in data science, right? So it makes things much faster and uh, uh, efficient rather than writing, writing uh, long loops in your code, which makes things, uh, loops are usually a bottleneck in uh, most of our codes. Right, uh, so the essence of this piece of code here is that, so what are we interested in? We are interested in figuring out uh, if two actors have acted together uh, in a movie. Uh, if so, uh, how many movies have they acted together in? So we need a matrix of actors actors and each element in this matrix uh, should denote the number of movies a pair like actor a so if this if you call this matrix a a i j is going to denote the number of movies uh, uh, actor i and j uh, have acted together right so it's basically matrix multiplication it's a nice trick that we do here so let's say we have a matrix here, uh, which uh, with, with the rows as movies and with the columns as actors. So if an, an, an entry in this matrix just means that uh, actor one 
so it, it's a, it's a binary matrix essentially so if uh, this first cell is 1 that means that actor 1 has acted in movie 1 this is 0 so actor 2 has not acted in movie uh, 1 and so on and so forth now what happens if we square this matrix so in in, in matrix notation or matrix terms squaring a matrix is uh, equivalent to pre-multiplying this matrix with its transpose so what does this matrix as transpose looks like look like uh, you, you, you bring the rows here and the columns here so this is a transpose how you multiply this you get a matrix with a, a, a square matrix where the number of rows and columns equal the number of actors that we had in the data and this is the data <coughs> sorry this is a matrix that we spoke about in the, uh, in the beginning uh, where a i j basically represents the number of movies uh, actor i and j have acted together right so that is this matrix and this piece of code here gives you that and uh, this small piece of code here is essentially getting the uh, name of the uh, actor rather than the code for the actor right so this basically means adur basi and bahadur have acted together in 197 movies uh, right, uh, uh, this is just the uh, same pair ulta. Uh, Prem Nasir and Adubasi has acted in 171 movies uh, and so on and so forth. So, you get this nice uh, matrix. Uh, also, if you notice, these are all actors who have acted in Indian movies because I am subsetting. Uh, so, I have written this function in such a way that I can, I can pass the language of the movie uh, and uh, uh, I, can, I can also subset the, the actors that get, I mean, I can also filter the actors by saying that, you know, I, I am only interested in actors who acted at least in three movies and who uh, minimum pairings is basically one. So, if two actors, if two actors have acted at least in three movies, have acted together only in one movie, I, I'm fine with that. I, 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 I need that in this matrix, right? So, I do the some, same thing for uh, US English. I get my uh, data. Now is the interesting part. So now uh, we have this data. We can build. Uh, uh, what what can we do with this data? We can build a network using the uh, SK Networks utilities edge list to adjacency. So we have this pair, which is basically. Uh, uh, so where are we? Mm. Pairs is basically. Uh, denoting the uh, edges now um, we can convert that to a network using the edge list to adjacency matrix so adjacency matrix is uh, 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 let me show you that what what pairs dot n is first right So it's basically uh, uh, so the row and column is, basic, uh, is uh, an identifier for actor, right? So if I pass this to this function, I get the name, but then uh, I am I'm, I'm basically interested in converting this. So edge list is basically saying, hey, look, this actor and this actor have acted in one movie. This actor and this actor. Has acted in one movie together. So if I pass this to edge list to adjacency, I'm going to get a uh, matrix which essentially uh, is a good representation of a network, right? And uh, to uh, uh, once we have this network built, what we are now interested in is figuring out uh, clusters in this network, or, or how it is more commonly called in this. Uh, uh, field of networks is community detection, right? So we've got a lot of algorithms to do that, of which Lovein is one. So let's. Uh, so if you remember, K means uh, we initialize an object and then uh, fit transform it on the adjacency matrix uh, to get a cluster label for each of the nodes in the network, right? So that's what this does. And then we're just creating a new data frame uh, with uh, the uh, index, which is basically the unique identifier for the actor, a primary name, 
both here which cluster does he belong to and uh, the number of times this particular guy appears in that cluster right uh, once we have that uh, let's look at what each cluster means right uh, okay so the first cluster or the zero cluster looks like it's more of hollywood actors right uh, what does the first cluster look like it looks like uh, bollywood or hindi actors uh, the second cluster looks like uh, chiranjeevi satiraj uh, the telugu cluster and so on right the third cluster looks like uh, i don't know irani nirupa Rai, the old hindi cluster right and so on and so forth now what are we interested in so we, we've got different clusters here uh now let's look at how these clusters are connected with each other um so uh, what this function gives you is that for each uh, if you if you mm, uh, for each actor or each node network it gives you the cluster which it belongs to the uh, uh, the, the number of clusters they've acted together in i mean for instance uh, if uh, Madhavi has acted with, uh, I mean, Madhavi has obviously acted with a lot of other actors, and if those actors, uh, the different number of clusters they belong to, right? So that is given by this the number of different movies she's acted in, and the number of different actors uh, she's acted with. And in cluster is basically the proportion of films she's acted with within the same uh, cluster right now if i have to now understand uh, the the uh, big shots who uh, so i was just trying to figure out yeah so if we have to figure out which are the big shots in each of these clusters meaning uh, who acted more with people in the other clusters who who connects with other clusters so how do we figure that how, how do you how do we figure that out so we basically which means we're primarily interested in actors who've acted a lot of movies uh, but uh, most of them have to be outside the cluster meaning in cluster percentage should be might, should be much low so uh, what do we do if we filter out this by I mean, i'm going to say i'm really interested in people who have acted in more than 50 movies and then if i sort them in the ascending order by the in cluster percentage we can make get a fair sense of it so for instance mother we belongs to cluster six She's acted in uh, 126 movies, but only 18% of them were in the same cluster. The remaining were in different clusters, right? In some of the six clusters. Similarly, Sumalada, uh, she belongs to cluster 5. She's acted in 61 different movies, but only 31% were uh, in the same cluster. So, uh, similarly, we can do a lot of things. I mean, for, for this was. Oh, concentrated on uh, um, actors who have acted in Indian movies but US and uh, 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 actors who have acted so now if you remember we have only we've looked at all actors who have acted together in at least one movie so we can we can bring that down I mean I'm only interested in actors who have acted together in let's say more than five movies things like that and uh, we can build our own interesting stories so uh, for example, if uh, social network analysis or, uh, or uh, how are different people connected in a village, 
uh, for example, if you are uh, if you're running a financial institution uh, and uh, 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 a microfinance specifically, so you might be interested in understanding the complex relationship between people in a village, so that uh, you know uh, if somebody or, or if you, if you're going to give a group loan to somebody, uh, who who should who, who should form the optimal group, right? I mean, if you figure out people from the same community, there is a good chance that uh, if one guy uh, falls back on the uh, payments. Uh, he's related to a lot of other influential people in the community and you've given money to them as a group loan so the other guys will uh, make him pay the money in a positive way uh, things like that I mean, you could find yeah, uh, a lot of applications in different domains for all these uh, network analysis right with that uh, let's end uh, today's tutorial thank you